Hello and welcome. Create school management dashboard in Excel in just few minutes. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to build an interactive Excel dashboard with a simple and attractive navigation bar designed to streamline school operations, easily manage students, teachers, events, and exams all in one place. The best part? These navigation and dashboard tricks can be applied to other dashboards too making it a valuable skill for any Excel user. Key Features you Learn Simple Navigation Bar Interactive Data Management Easy to Use Interface Let's get started. Open Excel Workbook Select the entire sheet and apply your preferred fill color. Go to the Insert tab. Click on Shapes. Select Rounded Rectangle Shape. Draw. Adjust and reposition the shape as needed. Go to the shape fill, change the fill color. Remove outline. Go to shape effects, apply a shadow effect. Go to the insert tab, click on illustration. Shape. Select rectangle shape. Draw. Change shape fill color. No outline. Go to the home tab. Change the font color if needed. Increase the font size and enter your heading text. Press Ctrl A. Format the text as bold, center and middle align and increase font size. Duplicate the shape by holding Ctrl and dragging the mouse. Remove the text. Resize and reposition the shape. Hold Ctrl and drag the shape to duplicate it twice more. Select the shapes. Go to Arrange Group, click Align, and distribute them vertically and horizontally. Drag shapes by holding Ctrl key. Resize shapes. Reposition using arrow key. Change shape fill color. Select each shape one by one and change their colors as desired. Go to the Insert tab. Click on Illustration. Shape. Select Text Box. Draw and Enter Text. Select Text. Increase Font Size. Reposition Text Box. Apply Formatting as per your choice. Go to Format tab. Remove Outline. Go to the Insert tab. Click on Icons. Type icon name in the search box, select icon. You can select multiple icon at once. Repeat the same. Click on insert. Drag each icon to the desired position and resize by dragging its corners. Select an icon, go to Graphics Fill and choose a desired color. Repeat this process for other icons to change their colors. Go to Insert tab, click Shapes, select Line Shape, Draw. Change Outline Weight. Change Color. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the line shape, then reposition the duplicates as needed. Select any text box and drag it by holding Ctrl key. Go to the Format tab. Shape Fill. Click No Fill. No Outline. Enter your text. Drag the text box to the desired position and adjust as needed. Change text. Do the same for other text boxes. Drag the text box. Go to the Format tab. Click No Fill. 
Change text. Drag the text box, edit the text, change text color. Repeat these steps for other text boxes with different text. Select the text boxes, go to the Format tab, click Align and choose to distribute them horizontally and vertically and align center for a neat arrangement. Go to the Insert tab, click Shapes, select the rounded corner shape and draw it over the text box. Change Shape Fill Increase Outline Weight Send shape backward. Right now, we have two sheets in this document. To create more sheets, click on plus icon. Right click to rename it. Enter the sheet name. Repeat the same procedure. Go to the dashboard. Select the text box, press Ctrl plus K, select the sheet you want to link and click OK. Repeat the same procedure for others to link corresponding sheets. Now, select the entire sheet. Copy it and paste it into the other sheets one by one. Go to the dashboard. Click on second text box to open the second sheet. Drag the shape to the second text box. Change text color. Then open each subsequent sheet and drag the shape into the corresponding text box. Select any shape, drag it by holding Ctrl key. Resize and reposition it. Apply shape effect. Drag it by holding the Ctrl key. Repeat the same procedure to create more shapes. Resize the shape as per your requirement. Rearrange shapes as needed. Select the shapes and apply a shadow effect if needed. Drag any text box. Reposition it. Enter the text. Repeat the same procedure to add headings to each shape. Change the text color for each heading as per your preference. Press Ctrl C to copy any rectangle text box. Go to the second sheet. Press Ctrl V to paste. Drag and adjust. You can also change shape style as per your choice. Resize the shape by dragging its corners.
go to the insert tab click on illustration shapes select oval shape draw the shape click on shape fill click on picture and insert picture from your device go to the insert tab select text box draw and enter text duplicate the text box enter other information select both text boxes remove outline remove shape fill select text boxes and picture group them from the arrange group duplicate by holding control key select the second shape and change the picture by going to the shape fill picture option and follow the same steps for the other shapes go to the dashboard sheet drag the text box and enter other data format as you want now go to the result sheet we have student result data here click on any cell press control t to create table Click OK. Remove filter buttons. Go to the Insert tab. Click on Pivot table. Click OK. Select fields, names, percentage or totals. Click on this button. Click Value filters. Click Top 10. Decrease number or enter manually. Click OK. Now select the table. Go to the Insert tab. Go to Charts group. Select Chart as per your choice. Click on Chart Design tab. Change a chart color as per your choice. Right click. Hide all field buttons. Delete title and extra labels. Click on Plus icon. Uncheck Grid lines. Check Data label. Right click on the chart. Open sort option. Click smallest to largest option. Right click the chart. Click copy. Go to dashboard sheet and paste it. Resize and reposition the chart. Go to the format tab. Remove outline. Go to the pivot table sheet. Select table. Copy. Paste it to the side. Go to the analyze tab. Click on field list. Clear fields. Select attendance. And names. Select these numbers. Go to the home tab. Number group. Click percentage. Decrease decimal if needed. Open value filters. Choose top 10. Decrease numbers. Click OK. Select table. Go to insert tab. Click charts. Select column chart. Change chart color as per your choice. Right click. Hide all field buttons. Remove title. Click on plus icon. Remove grid lines. Select data labels. Copy the chart. Paste into the dashboard sheet. Resize and reposition the chart as needed. Go to the Insert tab. Click on Shapes. Select Shape. Draw. Duplicate by holding Control key. Select Shapes. Go to Format. Click Align. Distribute horizontally and vertically. Select the first shape. Click on Shape Fill. Picture. Insert picture from your device. Repeat the same steps to other shapes. Go to the Insert tab. Click Shapes. Select Text Box. Draw and Enter Text.
Rearrange the text boxes and pictures if needed. Go to the third sheet and enter your student's data. Go to the fourth sheet. Enter here event details. Similarly go to the exam sheet. Add exam timetable. Now go to the dashboard. Check out the result. We have created an attractive dashboard with a navigation bar. Comment if you have any doubts. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.